frosty Monday morning. I hope you're all well. And if you are um, over stateside, that, you know, weather has been a little bit improved and you're all safe and you're all warm inside. So today I'm going to be making some little necklaces with you. I'm wearing one here. I'm going to make like a little half beat kind of shape with a beautiful little heart dangling. I've got lots of beautiful colours to show you. I'll pop these back on my bust. I'll let you have a little look what they should be like. So I'll take you over to the website and you can have a little look at them. They're very, very pretty. Um, but I'm just going to be using some wire today to show you how to create a variety of different shapes. You don't have to be doing any um, wrapping or wire weaving. So if if it's new to you, if wire is new to you, then you can make some lovely little necklaces very, very simply in just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to say a quick hello to you before we start. Let me know where you're watching from, how you've been over the weekend, have you done anything nice? So good morning to Janet. She says good morning. Lucy's in. Good morning to you. Hello to Janet. She says good morning, Natalie um, and everybody. And good morning to Camille as well. She says, I hope you're well. I'm not too bad. Little one's been fine for most of the weekend. And then just a spike to temperature yesterday. Um, really wasn't himself. He's a little better today. So fingers crossed he stays all right. Um, good morning to Janice. Hello to Angela. Good morning to Elaine. She says good morning, Natalie and everybody. And Janet says she's up near Perth in Scotland. What's the weather like? Because today has been, it's come very sunny now, but it was really frosty this morning. Um, Janice says she's made the sweetheart necklace. Did you like it? Does it look lovely? What colours did you use? Um, which way round did you put the hearts is the main question because I did them one way. And then on the live, you all agreed they were the wrong way round, and I tried them a different way. And I was like, yeah, you, you were right. <laughs> Good morning to Diane from Swinton. Hello to Tutu. She says, hello, Natalie and everyone. Thunder and lightning over the weekend. Um, Janice says it's lovely and sunny in Sudbury. And good morning to Pauline. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone on this sunny Monday morning. Good morning to Joanne. She says, good morning, Natalie, um, and all you lovely beaders. It's sunny, bright, and freezing in Coventry. So although it's bright and sunny, it's, it's very, very cold. So I'm going to take you over to the website now. I'm going to show you all the different colours. We've got an absolute bargain for you today. Um, and you can you can change up this design or you can do something completely different with it altogether. I will show you uh, various different things you can do just to shape wire. I'll speak to you a little bit about gauges of wire. I'm going to be using um, a one millimeter wire, which is about an 18 gauge. I think if you convert it, um, I know US use gauges. We tend to use millimeters. Now, usually when I use wire, I always go with a 0.8, which is 20 gauge. Um, but the one millimeter is a little bit sturdier. So you can hammer it if you want to but it's got that little bit more strength so it's good for a project like this but if you've got any questions at all um feel free to to ask during the live or if you're watching back later you can always ask me um and i'll i'll pop back on um on youtube and i'll check through the comments um good morning to sheila hello to sharon good morning to angela from uh for far she says it's cold but sunny sylvia says it's half 8 p.m in south australia well thank you so much for joining me um and camille says my red sky was redder than your red sky last night across the uk we had the most amazing sunset my sky was the most beautiful bright pink and peachy colours with lots of lovely little clouds and um, me and Camille were showing each other our sunsets from where we were and his was very red and very very lovely um, so I always like to get inspiration from from nature and what's around me and I was thinking I've got to use that colour palette because it's beautiful uh, Janice said I did it in the aqua and the hearts were the right way up and it doesn't matter if it's warm with the hearts on the left or the right no it doesn't you can just flip your necklace around um, Angela also said she had a lovely red sky last night. Um, apparently, I keep stopping and starting, according to Diana. I hope that's not an issue, and I hope you can see me okay and hear me okay as well. Um, 
Janet says it's drying up nicely now. Lynn says it's 5 a.m. in Ottawa. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to Anne. She says, hi, Natalie and everybody. Sorry, she's late. You're not late. We're just getting going, Anne. I'm not even taking you to the website yet, so don't worry. Um, and and Eileen says, uh, just listening along, having a craft supply sort out. Oh, you're going to be there for weeks, probably. How lovely, though. Good morning to Esther. Um, and Lucy agrees it glitched a little bit, but I'm okay now. Well, we might have a few more glitches as I take you over to the website. So let's see, let's hope not. So here we are on totallybeads.co.uk. You can find all our wonderful products over on the website and you can find our tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but you can catch them up whenever your little heart desires. Speaking of hearts, today we are doing the heartbeat necklace. So you can see today, we've got an absolute bargain. Your kits are £2.99. £2.99. I think you'd be lucky if you get a coffee for £2.99. But we've also got a buy two for £5. So if you want to get two kits, you can play around with the colour of hearts that you've got. We've got two different colours wired for you today. Um, and you could also, I'll show you a different design as well, where I'm shaping some lettering with the wire. So you might want to get two kits and do that. You'll need exactly the same materials. So we've got the heartbeat necklace in a beautiful gold, which is your wire and your uh, chain and findings. And it's with an amethyst heart. You're getting lovely little crystals with those as well. You've got your red, perfect for Valentine's Day, or just a little statement piece because you fancy it. We've got a rose, we've got a gray, we've got lilac, purple, and a beautiful teal for you as well. So I'll go into the amethyst first so you can have a little look. So your necklace is gonna look like this. As I say, there is no wrapping, no weaving involved. We are literally turning a pin to dangle that beautiful heart off the bottom, of that kind of drop on the heartbeat. And you can change up your heartbeats as well. You can make it more pointed, more rounded, whatever you prefer. So in your kit, you're getting a 12 millimeter silver foil heart. They are the same hearts as that I was using um, in the Sweetheart necklace on Friday, but you've got some different colors in here as well. So you're getting one beautiful silver foil heart, you're getting your beading wire, which is about 25 centimeters is all you need for this design. You probably don't need that much, but I'd always rather give you that tiny bit more than the tiny bit less. And that is one millimeter wire. You're getting a lobster clasp, you're getting two pieces of your three millimeter crystal bicones. You're getting a lovely little ball pin, which is about 50 millimeters long. So you can make that little dangle off the bottom. We've got jump rings for you, which is six millimeter. And you're also getting about 50 centimeters of your jewelry chain as well. In terms of your tools today, you're gonna to need your wire cutters, flat nose, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers. And if you've got them, I would say your nylon coated pliers, if you if you want to use them to straighten your wire, they are a very handy tool. But don't worry if you've not, you can use a cloth to run through um, just to straighten that out. You can, you can use a variety of different things, so they're not essential. Um, you can use bail shaping um, step pliers as well if you want to, um, but again, not essential. £2.99. For everything in your kit today to make a very very pretty necklace don't forget if you enter your email address you might be able to get a 10 percent off as well if it's maybe your first order with us um that's always always handy to have so that one is your amethyst we've got your gold colorway with the beautiful heart which is red Again, £2.99 for everything in your kit today. You're getting some lovely chain as well with this. And you can make them as long as you like, really. You can just shorten the chain. You can even make your heartbeat smaller and more dainty if you don't want them as such a large kind of statement part of your necklace. This one is your rose colored heart. I will show you the hearts on the table again because they're just so gorgeous. Don't forget we're having handmade 
heart beads here. You've got gorgeous coloured glass around that beautiful silver foil core in the middle. This one is your silver grey, so they are on your silver findings for you. Two for five pound, what a bargain. We've got a gorgeous purple. So I do think there's a colour for everyone here. We've got your pinks, we've got the purples, we've got lilacs and greys and gorgeous teal colours. And of course, that gorgeous red as well. And here is the teal. So this is on the silver as well. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful colour heart. So I hope you like these. It is something different. I wanted to do something really, really easy. So if you're wanting to get into wire, or you're wanting to make something a little bit different from the usual, then here we go. So all those beautiful colours, amethyst, red, rose, grey, lilac, purple and teal to choose from. £2.99 pence each or a buy two for £5. You can't get a better deal than that. I'll uh, I'd offer you to try, but on Totally Beads, we've got the absolute beautiful bargains for you today. Um, right, let me see in the comments. Um, oh, Camille saying she loves Ottawa. She lived there for two years. Good morning to Ruth. Lucy's sharing the link for us. I hope I'm not too fuzzy. I hope my picture's okay. Can you let me know if I'm okay and you can see me all right? It's looking clear on my end, but... It's Monday, isn't it? So who knows? So here we are on totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook dash tutorials forward slash heartbeat dash necklace. So find your kit there on the website. Um, yeah, Diane, I'm bled for you. Am I bled for anybody else? Uh, Angela says these would make a lovely way of supporting the Heart Foundation. They would if you would like to make them and donate any profits for charity. I'm sure they'd be delighted with that. Hi to Carol. Good morning, Francis. Uh, Carol says it's fine for her and Camille also says it's clear to her as well. So I think it might be just on yours, Diane. Maybe refresh or come out and come back in. I won't do anything, you know, too detailed. So if you do need to nip out and come back in, it hopefully, you know, you won't miss anything. Right, let me take you down on the mat and I will show you. First of all, this is the necklace that we're making today. So you can see it's really dainty, it's really elegant looking. You've got that lovely heartbeat in the middle, which you can make as large, as small. Hopefully it's okay for you now. Um, you can, you know, make it more pointed, more curved. Who was it who was telling me that they had a nurse in background and were laughing at... Um, the rhythm of this person's heartbeat well when you're in love or you're excited or i'm working with gemstones my heartbeat probably goes a little bit like this right there we go down on the mat you can see today we've got the most beautiful hearts for you so i'm just going to lift a couple of them up we've got the gray the lilac we've got beautiful purples and amethyst i don't know whether you're going to be able to see a big contrast in these they they are different so i'm sure hopefully on the website you can see that difference look at the teal teal is beautiful got that gorgeous light pinkish one and of course the beautiful beautiful red one janice has said lovely purchase three different colors i'm really glad that you like them janice they're going to be so easy you're going to make this in a matter of minutes and for the price of them today you know, £2.99 or two for £5, I would be getting a couple. Um, right, so look at the hearts. They're just so lovely. Joanne is saying the clear one for me, which is also loving the blue. Can we get a bit of focus? So you've got that coloured glass on your heart and that silver foil core in the middle. Tell you what, will this help? Does that, yeah, you go a little bit more light. Look at them, they're so beautiful. Marcia says, question, if you curve it over a water bottle, do you think it would work as a bracelet? I think you could definitely have this as a bracelet, yeah. Um, you might want to hammer it just to add a little bit more strength in, or you might want to make it a little bit smaller so it sits on the top of your wrist. Your heart will move. So if I can... Let me show you one that I've made. 
your heart is just going to be on that ball pin so technically that will slide round unless you want to make a little loop onto the bottom of this with the wire and attach it in between there and then it won't slide round but I do quite like it reminds me of remember those games you used to get and you used to have to kind of chase the the little loop around the wire and hope it didn't bleep and give you a little shock um Eileen says I'm supposed to be on a no buy crafting already failed with the Georgina necklace well we won't tell anybody Eileen only the amount of people that are watching us live so they're really straightforward to do and I'll also show you how to do some lettering as well, which also took me about five minutes. Um, so I'm using the one millimeter wire today, which is, as I say, about 18 um, gauge. So it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit sturdier to use um, and it just creates a shape lovely. You can make it more pointy. You can make it more curved. You can do whatever you want with this. You're also going to get some gorgeous little crystals as well, <clears throat> which are your three millimeter bicodes. And that I'm just going to add onto the top and bottom of my heart just to add a little extra splash of color. <clears throat> now, I don't draw my designs out. I usually just sit with the wire and have a little play. But if you want to, you can do and you can trace your wire as you shape it over your picture. Um, Sharon says, if you're going to make a bracelet, put the heart on the wire and not the ball pin. Yes, exactly, Sharon. Uh, good morning, Joy. She says, morning, a bit late, went to patchwork, but no heating, so come home. Um, and Ruth also says, I mean, she won't, she won't say anything. So usually you can have a little look online as well, a little kind of heartbeat Um monitors or whatever but you tend to have this kind of flat line and your heartbeat or your wire is going to go up and down up and down or whatever it is and i'm just going to try and keep that straight line so at each point it's going to come back down and kind of hit a similar mark so you can see here again i've not done this with um any design i've just shaped it this line tends to run straight along the bottom so it's kind of hitting those points what i want is i want one wire to come down at some point because it's going to be gravity which keeps my little heart dangling off the bottom patricia says hi natalie and everyone good early morning from new york and um, best still be still my heart a great valentine's day project and good for medical folk too well i really hope you like it so you can see i've done this kind of curved at the top if you want to make it more kind of um artistic in its flow maybe and make that more curvy you can do it whichever way you want so in your kit i will just pop my pen and pencil down i'll keep holding my ruler i say i've not really measured out at what point this is going to come up i've just done it by eye but you can measure it if you want to so in your kit you're getting your one millimeter wire if i find a little piece of 0.8 here's a little bit you might be able to see a very subtle difference so i find the 0.8 is is a little bit more malleable if i'm turning and making a wrap loop then i'll be using a 0.8 or maybe even a 0.6 with the one millimeter i find it more difficult to turn a wrap loop with it so i just make loops but for these necklaces we're just going to be turning the ends up like this just to get our jump ring through and just keep those lines straight at the bottom so let's let's get a little bit of space so i'm going to take my 25 centimeters which will be in my kit and i'm just going to straighten out the wire so let me measure this out for you so you know i've got just as much as you have so i'm measuring that out against my ruler i'm just straightening it out so you can do this with a cloth you can run it between your fingers with a cloth 
if you've got nylon coated pliers you can give it a little bit of a straight and just to get any kinks out if it's been on a reel or come to you in the post it may have the odd little bend in it and that's absolutely fine let me just pop that there so my nylon coated pliers are particularly battered i need new tips for them to be honest um, but they still do the job but just straighten it out so you've got a fairly um ah oh, patricia says i think 0.8 is 20 gauge yeah is that not what i said 0.8 is 20 gauge and one millimeter is 18 gauge i think so this is the 18 gauge because i'm using the one millimeter wire sorry if i got that wrong patricia so we're just straightening that out like so and you can put your kale in it to start off with or you can do that at the end because i'd like them to be fairly evenly spaced so i'm going to start probably about two centimeters up from the end of my um wire and i'm going to get my round nose pliers if you want you can use your flat nose pliers if you want to create more of kind of a pointed edge and with my round nose pliers or even my bail making pliers i'm just going to pop that in between my wire probably just just over midway up so it's not too big and i'm just going to bend it with my finger and i'm going to bend it almost 90 degrees and then i'm going to find a little bit of a point which is where i want my first kind of peak on my heartbeat to come to so i will measure it afterwards and tell you where about i've put mine i tend to do it by eye and then i'm just going to bring it back round. so i'm just pushing the wire around my round nose and that's created my first kind of beat should i say so that is about one and a half centimeters but you do whatever you like now i want to bring this wire to be there or thereabouts again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to position my round nose just slightly over or in line with that point because what will happen is obviously you're getting the shape of the round nose which is going to take a little bit so i'm just going to bend it gently by eye and just see that they're fairly straight so this is kind of running parallel with each other and then I'm going to create another peak, which is going to go up. So I'm going to move slightly along that wire, just a few millimetres. And I'm going to give it another bend. And this time I want this peak to be slightly higher than the first one. So I'm just going to go slightly above it. So that's probably at about two centimetres. Bring it back down all the way. Now this time I'm going to create the little peak or dip rather where my heart's going to hang from. So I don't want to bring that line back across. I'm going to just make it below. And then as I turn my wire again, so I'm just keeping the pliers in position and I'm just bending that wire around. It is one millimeter wire, which is about 18 gauge, but it's it's still malleable enough to just be able to move with my fingers with absolute ease. I'm then gonna bring it back to this point here. And I'm gonna bend it straight. So I'm just holding it with my hand holding my pliers bend that back into kind of a straight line and then i'm gonna make another little bump maybe another one or two it's entirely up to you as i say you can make this as you want it so i'm going to create another bump running up so i'm just gonna hold it in between that bend give it a little flick I'll probably want it maybe around this height or maybe slightly lower. It's 
see how that looks. So I've created a little dip on that bit, but you can see on this one, I haven't I've just brought it straight up and straight back down again. Back in with my round nose, just give that a little bend. Fairly happy those lines are running fairly parallel. And I'm gonna finish off with one more little one, which will be my smallest. And then bring that back flat. So I've created this kind of shape. Now, if you want to, if you really want to make it even sturdier than it already is, if you've got a little hammering block and a hammer, you can just give that a little tap and chase that round if you need to. I'm not going to do it with this. Um, that can flatten it out and it can add hardness to the wire as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my little curls at the bottom. And I want them to be fairly the same. So what I'm going to do with my ruler is I'm just going to measure how long from the last peak. So that one is three centimetres and that one's about three centimetres as well. So I could curl up my ends there, but I think that's probably a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it start around two centimetres. So I'm going to come in with my cutters and just trim that off. And again, on the other side, at about two centimetres, so I'm trimming off about a centimetre of my ends. And then I'm just going to curl this up so we can make a connecting point to add our jump rings and our chain. So I'm going to use either my round nose pliers or even my bail step making pliers for this. I'm going to keep it fairly flush and I'm just going to go all the way round until it meets itself. Same on the other side, if I'm using my bail step pliers, I know I'm gonna get the same size loop. So I'll just pop that in and give it a little turn. So I'm turning that wire all the way around, just till it touches itself. And then I can give that a little straighten out if I like. So that is essentially my heartbeat. So as I say, I've created a little dip on that one. With this one, I haven't really. Um, and you can you can do whatever you wish. What I will do is I will show you how to do this with the round nose pliers instead. So again, I'm going to gauge there or there about where I would like my kind of curls to start. Obviously, if I'm cutting leaving about two centimeters, then that curl is going to probably take up a centimeter too. So if you would like um, to have more of a flat bit either side you can just keep them a little bit longer. In with my round nose pliers. Start to curl that up. Little tiny rotations. And the same on the other side. So I'm going to make my loops fairly large. And I've created my little heartbeat. Now all I'll need to do is attach my chain and my findings onto that. So I'm going to get my gorgeous chain. I've got 50 centimetres in my kit. Good morning, Lorraine. Hello to Phoenix Creation. She says, morning all. Just dipping in while sat waiting uh, the car at the garage. I've got to take mine as well in a couple of weeks. Um, next week? I don't know. I need to check. Wonders of MOT. So I've got 50 centimetres on my chain. What I'm going to do is I think that's a good length for me. But again, if you want to make that short, you can do. So I'm just bringing up the ends to find the middle. You can measure each end out against your ruler if you want. But I think by bringing those ends up, just dropped it. I hold the two ends of my chain together, slide it up through my fingers to find that middle link and then all I'm going to do is just open up my chain so I'm going to find the little opening in that link where is it there it is you can cut it if you want to 
but I tend to find just opening it up like a little jump ring. Take that extra link off. I've now got two pieces of chain which are the same length. So I'm going to open up my jump ring. Slide that through one of the links on my chain. And then I can attach that onto the loop on my heartbeat. Same on the other side. So I'm just taking my pliers, giving it a little turn towards me. Sliding that jump ring onto the link in my chain and attaching it to the other side. You'll be getting four jump rings in your kit, which are six millimeters in size. Um, and they will be either in silver or in gold, depending on which color kit that you've picked today. You'll also be getting a little lobster clasp. So I can just make that um, necklace attachable by adding another jump ring onto one end and another jump ring with the lobster clasp onto the other end so you've got a nice elegant chain which is quite delicate and now all I need to do is add on my little part to my drop part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my ball pins so you will get one ball pin at 50 centimeters in your kit again you can give that a little bit of a straighten out if it needs it I'm also going to have my gorgeous crystals so I think think this is going to want a red heart on with it being Valentine's Day. So I'm going to just get out two of my gorgeous crystal bicones. So for the red kit, you've got these lovely little pink bits of sparklies. Again, very small and dainty. Just going to slide one of my bicones onto my pin. Then I'm going to take my gorgeous silver foil heart. I'm going to put it the right way up so it's going to go that pin's going to go through that little point at the bottom and come out in the little dip between the heart there and then i'm going to slide on another bicone i mean they would just make the sweetest pair of earrings as well if you wanted to get some extras and have a little matching set so i'm going to bend my pin to again about 90 degrees by bending that pin over, when I create my little loop, it will sit nicely on the top. I'm going to come in with my flush cutters and I'm going to cut, leaving about a centimetre of my pin, just holding on to it between my fingers. And then with my round nose pliers, I'm going to create that little loop. So I'm going to just stick that crystal and that bead underneath my thumb or my finger just to hold it in place you're going to give it a little flick up and turn that all the way round so i've made a lovely little loop give that a little bit of a straighten i think and then all i need to do is flick it open by giving it a little bit of a flick up with my pliers slide that on to the bottom peak of my heartbeat and close that back over and I've created in minutes I think a very very beautiful little necklace and it's as simple as that if you want to make them um, more pointed instead of rounded if I just get a little bit more wire out I can show you how to do that so I've just been using the shape on my round nose pliers but you can um you can use if you've got some flat nose pliers and you can bend it that way so i'm going to hold it in between my pliers and i'm going to use 
those corners just to create kind of create those more sharp points or peaks again hold it up where i want my first peak to be and bring that back over my pliers so they're still a little rounded you could always give it an extra little push together if you want to and then you can just straighten it how you want so lining them back up between my fingers to see where that kind of parallel line will be there or thereabouts make that on a little bit lower i think but it's really straightforward to do you can just play about with the shape of your wire so i'm not taking it fully to 90 degrees to create those peaks but you can just bend your wire around your tools to create those shapes the rain says lovely victoria says love it ordered fabulous so today if you've just joined us thank you lucy she says it looks gorgeous this is what we're doing today at totallybeads.co.uk forward slash facebook tutorials forward slash half the necklace why i wanted to do this with you is just to show you the things that you can do with wire which doesn't mean um you know you have to to be spending hours weaving and wrapping victoria says wish the the heart were available separately but couldn't find them usually they're at the bottom if you type silver uh, foil hearts into the search bar victoria you'll be able to get a whole lot of them there's still lots available i'm sure so you could buy um a strand of them or you could buy um i don't know if they're sold in strands or individually but if you were to get a strand you know you can do all sorts with these you only need one heart to make a beautiful necklace but you could get the same um color if you get a strand and make earrings and things to match i think what i'm going to do with you now is just show you how easy it is to kind of shape wire and write things with because we've still got a little bit of time because there's you know there's, there's plenty um of time left because it takes such a short amount of time to make these beautiful things so Back to the pen and the pencil and a little sip of coffee while I go. If I'm ever writing something with wire and I've done all sorts of words, I've had people message me and ask for commissions with names, with initials, with um, words like mum or love. I did have somebody ask me if I would write in wire a very rude word, which I'm not allowed to say, but you know, each to their own. I would always do cursive, so it's joined up writing. And I always try and think, well, where will my loop be to kind of connect this to a chain or whatever? So you can write your word out and again, then you can just use the wire to shape over if you want to. But I tend to do everything by eye. But say if I was going to write love, since it's Valentine's Day, I'd probably create something like this. So it's all joined. I'd create my little loop, although I could attach here. I'd probably create a little loop here and I'd create a little loop there. Now, if I wanted this to hang from a chain, I'd want those fairly high. So I may have to bring that up a little bit higher and do it that way. But anything I'm writing, I always just think, well, how can I join those letters? If I was writing that, which is me, I'd get here and I think, well, how am I going to join that to an A? You can then bend your wire around if you need and run it back along itself to bring it back out and you can kind of shape it that way but if my pencil doesn't leave the paper obviously it did then to cross the t but as long as my pencil doesn't leave the paper then i can shape wire exactly the same as well so i'm going to do love for you i'm going to cut still 25 centimeters of my wire so so you know if you want to do this instead of your half we can do it I'm not going to trace it over my paper. I'm just going to do it by eye. So I'm going to start off right at the top of my wire. 
I'm not going to need 25 centimeters, I don't think, for this. And I'm just going to turn a little loop, just like I've done before. But I want to get rid of that little straight part. So I'm going to come in with my flush cutters and I'm just going to trim off a teeny tiny bit in the middle. See how small that is. And that just means that when I turn that little loop, it's nice and flush inside. Yes, Diane, you can use you can use a 0.8 with this as well. You can use um, one millimeter. I say one millimeter is probably a little bit more sturdy. Um, so um, if you want to use the 0.8, that's fine. You might just want to hammer over it afterwards to put a little bit of um, strength into it. Um, Sheila says, so simple, Natalie, but big statement piece. Sharon says, this will be nice for Mother's Day. We could do a mum one as well, couldn't we? And Celtic Seahorse Craft says, I've always wanted to try letter writing. It's really, really straightforward to do. It looks more complicated than it is. I should have shown you, I've got a few pendants actually where I have made some pieces and I've written words on the top. Like I've attached that onto my stone afterwards. Um, Camille says, reminded me of my neighbour. She had these letter block beads and she wanted to make rude nicknames for her hubby. I managed it and she loved it. Well, you've got to please your customers, haven't you? OK, so I'm going to be mainly lying this flat. This is probably not the best surface to do it because if you're beading, it's great. But obviously, I'd like something which is sturdy. You can see my wire gets pushed into the fabric here, but it's OK. So I'm just going to start shaping that first L. So I'm going to bring it round. I'm just curling it with my fingers. You can use your round nose as well if you want. So if you think, actually, I want to create more of a loop, then, you know, use your tools. that will be my L, my O, I'm just going to bring up in a loop, again you can use your tool, so if you want to use a bail step plier to create that shape, then you can do, I'm just going to bring that all the way around, if not you'll find using your fingers is absolutely fine, I'm going to bring that all the way around into the O, I'm going to bring that off slightly so I can create that B. Now, I would, again, just use my fingers, but if you want to, if you've got your tools, then use the shape of your tools. So I'm going to go back down to the same point where my L is, and I'm going to bring that back up again to create my V. Back over with my fingers manipulate it afterwards i'm going to drop that a little bit just why i create that e shape so again just bringing it round sometimes i just use like the groove in my finger or my nail just to create that curve and then i'm going to bring that back up again now i would like if i put my loop there it's gonna probably sit like that which could be actually very lovely if you want it to sit exactly straight it's probably not the best curve i've started with but hopefully you can see what it says again i'm just going to look and see well where would it be sitting kind of level so i'm going to groove that with my finger i don't need all that extra wire so i'm going to come and trim that off it is lucy it is easy that's why and then I'm just going to create another little curve so you can do it up or down. I think I prefer it to go down this loop. Just with my round nose, curling that round. And I've created love. And what's great about this design, a bit like our heartbeat, we've got that dip and that dip in the V can mean now all I need to do is pick a gorgeous heart and get my crystals and do exactly the same with the same materials in my kit 
to create this design instead. So I'm going to go for the beautiful purple heart, which will come with these gorgeous purple bike cones. Have I got a pin? Got a pin. Where are my ball pins in silver? There they are. And we're gonna need my jump rings too. Now I don't know where they've gone. So I'm using the silver colorway for this one because it's to hand. Just gonna straighten out that pin a little bit. I'm cutting most of it off, so it doesn't really matter. Sliding on my bico, just like so. Then my gorgeous heart. And then my other little crystal bico. Pliers to create that bend at the top. So I'm bending that just above that crystal. These pins are lovely and soft. So they're really easy to work with. So again, you could make a wrap loop with these. I think when I'm using a one millimeter wire, I find it a bit more tricky to uh, make a wrap loop with them. I'll just turn a loop. And then just gonna give that a little turn with my pliers. To create a loop on the top. Phoenix says you could drop the bottom of the V a bit to make a perfect point for the heart. You could do, you can do whatever you want to do. This is why I love wire because, you know, you're in control of it. You can shape it. You can play about with it. If it doesn't go to plan, you can just straighten it back out again. So all I'm doing now is just closing that over. And then I've got my lovely little heart and again if you wanted to you could hammer that just to give it a little bit of strength i'm i'm dubious to do it on the table because i don't want it to knock everything over with my my uh, lamp but if i do one end you can see how it flattens that wire out which I think is just lovely. You've got the curve of the wire because we're using a round wire. But by just using a little hammer, if you've not got a jewelry hammer, you can use any hammer in your toolbox. You can see that's just created that little flat end. And then I would just do the same. I'd just pop my jump rings through it and I'd wear that as a little statement necklace. Uh, Natalie says you may turn a loop look so easy. It is easy. Um, and Phoenix, oh sorry, MB Craft says beautiful. Thank you so much. So these are your gorgeous, gorgeous kits today. Obviously, I've shown you how to do the design with the heartbeat. If the heartbeat's not for you and you want to try writing something with your wire instead, you most certainly can. I would say, you know, have a little bit of practice when you come to doing um, your letters. This took me, uh, what, about five minutes. You might want to draw it out with your pencil first just to kind of get an idea of how you're going to shape those particular words. Again, you might want to draw your heartbeat on a piece of paper and you might want to follow that with the wire. Whatever you want to do today, it's entirely up to you. But your kits are £2.99 pence, or two for £5. In your kit, you're getting your gorgeous silver foil heart, which, I mean, I just think they're so gorgeous. They're really, really beautiful. Good morning, Natalie. How are you doing? I just, you know, I'd easy pay a pound for one of those hearts. And the rest of my kit is £2.99. In your kit, you're getting your jump rings, you're getting your lobster clasp, you're getting your chain, and you're getting 25 centimetres of your one millimetre wire. So I do think they're an absolute bargain for you today. Camille says, very cute. Thank you so much. So I will bring you back up and I will show you my gorgeous necklace. Now I was, was thinking at first, I wonder if this is gonna flip round, 
but you can say I've been wearing this now for an hour um, with you. This hasn't moved out of position. It's not flipped around and I've been hammering and banging away and doing all sorts. They're really, really comfortable to wear. I think they look really, really pretty. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope, you know, you get your kits and you enjoy doing them as well. If at any point you've got any questions, please let me know. So even if it's a case of you're doing something and you think, I don't know what I'm doing with this, or I could do with a little bit more instruction or opinion on that, pop it in the handmade group and share it. And if I'm always there, so I'm always having a good nose. I'll always be there to comment. You can always tag me in the post as well. Um, and there's lots of other people in the group that are always really helpful. Um, Natalie says, I'm good. It's been a while since I've seen you. I love the clear ones. They're just, the hearts are just so beautiful. Um, and I think they just make them, they are statement necklaces, but I just think they're a little bit quirky. It's something a little bit different for Valentine's Day. As I say, I made a pendant forever ago, probably about two years ago now. And I used that kind of heartbeat on the front of it, which was a design feature, but also helps kind of secure the stone in place as well. Um, I've done pendants where I've, I've written love and things across the front. Um, that would be, can't really see the silver, I think, against my jumper there. But um, just something really easy to do and I think would be, um, you know, liked by a lot of people. Uh, BM Craft is asking what type of wire am I using? For the heartbeats today, I was using a one millimetre wire, which is 18 gauge in US terms. Um, it is round wire. It is... Um, colour remain so you know it's not going to tarnish too easily um, so you can be I mean I've been hammering and banging that and none of the colours come off it so jobs are good in. Um, Phoenix Creation says she wishes it was a WhatsApp group if it was a WhatsApp group it'd never stop pinging would it no I've got an, I've got enough with my mum mum school group with that going on yeah 50 messages a day and I'm like oh my gosh what have I missed and then I'll check and it'll be like just be talking about books or something completely non-child related <laughs> um join us on the handmade group if you can phoenix creations if not write the comment on if you're watching on youtube which I think you are you can pop a comment here on the live or in underneath um at any point I always go back and check um so thank you so much for joining me today it was a quick one really simple i hope you like them they're a bargain they're two pound 99 i don't know don't know what simon was thinking much don't tell him don't tell him it's a bargain um thank you for being with me today what am i doing with you on friday i think i'm doing some necklaces with you friday but i just i can't keep track it could be friday today for all i know <laughs> I hope you're all okay. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you on Friday. So 